Third and one. Williams gobbled up. There is a flag down, but the Titans get the stop on third and one. How do you approach this if you're Tennessee? First, let's take a look at the replay. Well, watch Gibbons. Nobody blocked him. I mean, nobody even tried to block him. It's a nice job by him to come flying through. Interesting decision yeah, that, here. that's what I wanted to bring yeah, up. Yeah, by Vrabel. I think Vrabel... They got Parham last week in this spot. They hand it off. They give it to Kelly. And Kelly's wrapped up from behind. McCreary has been really active. Remember, Christian Fulton's out, and so is Amani Hooker for the Titans. The Chargers did, but no Austin Eckler. So how does that impact? They're trying to come across with the wham block, but this Titans front. On oh, second and short, favorable down and distance play action. A little bootleg action as Watson rolls towards the far sideline, and he is forced out of bounds by Aziz Alshire. Heavy pressure from Tennessee. Burrow hit as he throws, and the theme continues for the Titans on defense. From the 13-yard line. Pressure coming. Chase Brown makes the catch on the screen, and Alshire is there to shut it down. A loss of three. For the linebacker position, here he is right here. Just watch him run. You're going to try to block him with an offensive lineman on this screen. Ha! Uh -uh. Nope. You ain't getting me. He's going to run right by you. What an addition he's been coming from San Francisco. It's Algier again. Ooh. Slammed in the backfield, and he'll lose yardage. Conversation I've had. Look at... Bet those last couple of plays, Jeffrey Simmons was on the sideline. Ball is stripped loose. Simmons. Still on the ground. They're wrestling for it. Waiting for the officials to signal. Titans come out of the scrum with the football, and they've got it. When Jeffrey Simmons came back in the game, there was a different tempo from the pass rush crew, Jay. Yeah, you know, it's just so special. He gets in there. He gets the hand on. And he gets the hand on. But really, that's Desmond Ritter has to protect the ball. Three times last week, he was loose with the ball. As you're coming up running in the pocket, you can't let it he, dangle. He's got, he's got he's two hands on it. He's got to bring it up and bring it up to the chest, James, and protect it better. Warren is in the backfield. Third and eight. Pick it deep downfield, and that is incomplete. Could not hold on. You get at back here and back here. The danger is when you split them with speed, the way Austin can get downfield. Now you got a linebacker that's got to run with him. That ball's thrown just a, a 13 second play ends in the incompletion. Young hurls it for Thielen, who is still. Well short of the sticks. Yeah, you've got here, and you're going to have the safety come down as well. You'll see him late, but Alshire right there. Great. He's 35. Kayvon Wallace in there as well. Just lurking down there, playing a little one lurk, and boom. Minshew scrambling and slides down. That they could get this run game going, but so far Tennessee has had none of that. Well, they try to set up for the screen pass. What a one-handed catch by Andrew Beck, but he is blown up. Second and long. He's been in this all game. Just elevated from their practice squad again for a second straight. Wink and that Singletary. Going nowhere. El Shire. Boy, that knocks him back. Would be a much tougher kick from here. That's a huge penalty for a number of reasons. No score, 4.35 to go in the opening quarter. On first down, Geno Smith, the walker in his own end zone, and able to get out of there. Roger McCreary had a chance. Third down and 10. Smith to Charbonnet. This one, he catches, but immediately taken down by Al Shire. A year from now, 57-yard punt and a 19-yard return, and Collins is in trouble right away inside the 30, so now the clock showing under two minutes. Stroud will pitch. And Pierce to the 35. Here's a second down and 10 during this Johnson. Stop behind the line. Elshire comes through. The leading tackler does it again. Sorry, Kevin. How about defensive coordinator Shane Bowen dialing up a pressure here on second and ten, bringing both linebackers. Wow. 